not now guys. <laughs> okay, hey everyone. We are at the airport right now. This is Juana. We're Hello. about to depart to Frankfurt on our way to the Trans-Mongolian Adventure. We're gonna go to Russia. So I wanted uh, you guys to meet Juana. Juana, who are you? Well, I'm Raji's friend. We actually met teaching English in Japan. Yep. Was it like we actually met like in Tokyo, Tokyo, right? No, we met in Toronto. On the, the way orientation. there. Okay. She's a fellow Czech. Yes. So I taught English there for a year, and then after uh, university and after I did Jet, I somehow find myself working in the travel industry for an amazing travel company called G Adventures, and basically we specialize in small group travel all around the world. We're the biggest small group travel company, so for groups of like 16 people, um, they book with us and they can go anywhere. We do uh, trips on all seven continents, so it's pretty amazing. Yep. Um, I work as a video producer and photographer for them, and I've been doing that for the past, it's crazy to say, like almost more than five and a half years coming up on six in March so Crazy. it's been quite the adventure I, I honestly think I think I have been on all seven continents with them seven and yeah continents. seven continents okay so where is the craziest adventure that you've been on yeah I would have to say climbing Kilimanjaro was one of the coolest things I've ever that. done because I don't think I would have done it on my own yeah. um, but I was on that trip working as a photographer and then Antarctica would be up there too because it's Antarctica and I think only like a crate like one percent of travelers go to Antarctica so it was just the most incredible experience because there's pretty much like it's the like, the most untouched place I've ever been to on earth nice and the laws are very stringent there to ensure that Sweet. and you're on a ship the entire time so you're only like touching land and stuff yeah but uh, today we are going on the Trans Mongolia, which has actually been one of my dream trips for years. Dream trips! I didn't yeah. even know about this. I, I'm yeah. only here because of her, and I am so grateful. Yeah. So so grateful for all of it. It's uh, the way that this all transpired was. I remember having a conversation with Juana on a patio this yeah. summer, and she's like, "Raj, you know, one of my dream trips ever since I started working with G Adventures, I've always wanted to do the Trans Mongolian." Uh, train ride and I've never even heard of it. I heard of the Trans-Siberian but never this one and then uh, in August I get a phone call from her and uh, she needed some help on this shoot. She put my name forward to uh, the peeps at G Adventures and submitted my name. Didn't tell me anything, nothing. I get a phone call from her and she's like, hey Raj, you want to do the Trans-Mongolian train ride? Trail starting from Moscow going all the way to Beijing. I'm like, yes, yeah. let's do it. How long? Where? Three weeks in October. Can you make it? And I said, yes. And she's like, wait, don't get so excited because they might say no. So just like keep it in the back of you know your mind but I was already really amped about it and uh, they creep my Facebook page love the demographic love the diversity she's in see if she's available I was because it's fun to just have your laptop and work for <laughs> wherever yeah and so this, that's how this whole trip kind of transpired but what are you most looking forward to on this trip um, I mean I think it's cool because it's pretty much the it's the longest railway system in the world so we're gonna be on the train I think for six days total but we break it up so we stop in different parts of Russia and Mongolia and Beijing oh sorry in China uh, and I have to say the one thing I'm really looking forward to is Mongolia like we're gonna do a homestay yeah. in a year which I'm really super excited about apparently you can see all the stars I brought a drone with me so I'm gonna fly it there yes. and the first time I flew <laughs> flew a drone was on my last trip and it's just like the photos you get on a drone are like you just can't get those shots to just with you know with your regular Canon camera and yep. everything so super excited about Mongolia just the people there are so beautiful and I'm excited to do some portraits there and honestly like St. Petersburg I'm really excited about as well I hear it's the Venice of Russia yeah so with all the canals and everything we're probably gonna do some boat tours and things like that that we'll be taking lots and lots of photos so I'm gonna be taking <laughs> lots of photos of Raji I don't think she knows what she's gotten herself into I... just yet no, I don't. But, but that's will. how I roll sometimes. My heart said go, and I was like, okay, I'm down. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone keeps telling me, be careful. All, all my friends on here, hello, guys. Uh, have an amazing trip. Be careful, be careful. Yeah. You know, I'm always careful. We're on a tour group, so <laughs> tour to be group, fair, yeah. it's going to be 16 of us, people from all over the world, and we're going to have a tour guide who's Russian who's going to take us all the way to Beijing. So cool. they pretty much, they take really good care of us. So yeah. we won't be missing any trains. We won't be, I you know. yoga mat. She brought her yoga mat. Brought my yoga mat. And then her <laughs> luggage is 24 kilograms, which I don't understand don't how it's possible. Tell I, I have a tripod in my bag. I have a big tripod in my bag that at least weighs five kilograms, and her luggage weighs more. I don't understand how that's possible. But. It just happens. I've been traveling for almost 10 years now, and I suck at packing. I, I just I can't. I don't yeah. I don't know. I can't. 
Um, what else? Yeah, so train ride, super excited about that. Um, checking out Russia, St. Petersburg, same thing. I wonder what Beijing is like. I never even thought about going to China, so this is going to be really fun. Yeah. Um, thoughts and prayers go out to everyone affected uh, by the shooting in Vegas. Devastating. Can't believe it, but just wanted to throw that in there. Love and light to everyone there and affected by it. I was reading a bunch of posts today on Facebook, uh, so I know people are feeling it. And um, yeah, see how that all turns out. Is yeah. there anything else you want to say? I guess I'm just really looking forward to a good trip and six, six days on a train. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll do some Instagram posts, like yeah. stories about how we're going to kill time on this train because if you really Rose think Quartz. about it. Rose Quartz is coming too. Brought all my crystals. Cool what is it? Cool what? kids carry crystals. What does Rose Quartz do? <laughs> Rose Quartz is good for your heart. It absorbs positive energy. And create a force field around you. <laughs> Tracks good vibes. Yes, we're at Pearson right now, so we'll check in uh, at Frankfurt. So yeah, we'll be looking a little bit more tired. A little bit more tired. Yeah. yeah, seven and a half hours. But yeah. anyway, love you guys. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Talk soon.